Hey y'all, what's poppin'? So, I am back with another pick a car reading. This pick a car reading, I haven't done this one in a while, but it's basically gonna be how does your person feel about you at the moment? So this could be a lover, it could be a, a employee, a, 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 a crush, a, a, um, a crush, a lover, and sorry was telling me what deck to use, a, um, what the fuck, a friend, a friend of me, a parent, um, anything. Just a family member, but we're gonna see how this person feels about them. How does pile number one person feel about them? It's never asked me to use this deck before. I do to do it today. How does pile number two supposed to feel? Ooh. I'm gonna take all three because I feel like this is gonna be a little uh, interesting read. person so I'm gonna give you a little bit of time to choose how are you guys I miss you guys I always miss you guys I always say that I don't know how I say that I do always miss you guys though I don't know. I just feel like could, I feel like we're all friends. As corny as that sounds, I gotta stop saying as corny as that sounds because I don't think I sound corny to y'all. Y'all probably like, yeah, we are all friends. But I don't know. I'm just used to people like being so mean. So, like everyone on my channel is so nice. Even y'all even nice to each other, and I like that. Okay, that should be enough time. We're gonna start with pile number one. Let's see. How does um, your person feel about you? So your, your person feels like you're flashy. They feel like you're on your high horse for some reason. I don't know why they feel like this, but they feel like you're on your high horse. They feel like you think you're better than them. They feel like maybe you you're yeah they just think you flashy and think you better than them and they, they don't they don't understand why you being like this they feel like um they might see you um you probably either got a new job or like some type of rise in status maybe you're you're following on the, uh social media has gone up or maybe uh, maybe they feel like you're you're um maybe you just recently started a youtube and it's starting to take off or maybe you just have a new friend group or got a new job like something new has happened in your life and it's causing your status to or your popularity or more people are starting to notice you or notice your work or want to hang out with you etc but you're drawing more and more attention to yourself and because you're drawing this attention to yourself they feel like it's going to your head however how i feel about this i feel like you guys just so it resonates i feel like it's not that it's just like you know how you start to outgrow people and like maybe this person was into some toxic shit like maybe it's like okay let's go out and drink every weekend let's spend up all our money doing this and that right and you were like no i don't want to do that anymore like i want to save my money i want to start a business i want to start investing i want to do this i want to do that right and they're not understanding that you get what i'm saying they're not, they're not understanding that. Yeah, they're not, for some reason, they're just not understanding it. I don't know why they're not understanding it, but they're just not. They just feel like it's a personal attack against them. You get what I'm saying? But sometimes that happens. You know, I watched this one guy, his name is Nino Brown, and he always talk, he always talking about how, um, how when you level up like you sometimes start to lose friends like you sometimes start to lose friends and you start to and people start because they don't resonate with you no more it's like they don't match your energy they're not on the same vibration as you so people can take they can feel people can feel when you're outgrowing them so i think that maybe power one you're outgrowing this person this person is trying to make it seem like you're you're changing what you are but you're changing for the good right but they're trying to make it seem like you're changing for a bad or you're like being a bad person or like you're leaving them behind but my thing is this it's like if you feel like if you feel like your, your friends are outgrowing you why don't you try to figure out what they doing why don't you try to figure out what you can go to you get what i'm saying that's like that's like 
I'm the only one of my friends that open a business, right? I don't act no different way, but if my friends don't want to be my friend no more because I open a business and they can't resonate with me, it's nothing I can do about that. I could try to, you know, put them on, but like, yo, you could open a business too, or we could, you know, do something together. But if they don't want to do it, I'm going to be friends with them until I feel like they don't, they're, they're not genuine friends. Right now, it's everything cool, but I'm just saying, like, in general, if I was there, I would feel that way. I wouldn't feel bad about keep escalating my journey because I don't want to leave my friends behind because if they wanted to come, they would. You get what I'm saying? Not saying like particularly to my friends that and just in case you watch this guys it's not i'm not saying that but i'm just saying in general right so i don't feel like you need to lower yourself or or be unhappy or try to hide your compliments to make this person comfortable because this motherfucker probably just lazy this this person's probably just lazy right like grow up um they feel like this that they feel like it's only a matter of time before y'all before this dies i feel like i feel like they're that they they feel like well i feel like they feel like that you're going to come to you come and tell them that this relationship is over whether this is some of you guys this might be a lover some of you guys might be outgrowing your lover you know what i've seen today i seen this tiktok right and this girl was talking about how she was um she went from you know being what her dusty they call you know how they call like men with no money that's not really trying to do nothing dusties she was like she went from being with her dusty you know having to pay like half the bills and not really going on nice dates and and being in like you know in a crappy situation to now like she's you know fly, flying first class at, at weekends in miami like eating you know the the best meals like she looks better you know what I'm saying? she's glowing she probably got she you know her sugar daddies or her boyfriends probably got money now they probably you know send her to get facials and like you can just tell like her like her quality of living of life is way different and she's like i'm 25 and it took me like this long to realize that you know i can get better this is not the best it's ever going to get so that i feel like this person knows this that's why i said this could be a relationship because this person knows that you're starting to realize that you could probably do better you're starting to realize you might be a leo sagittarius aquarius or scorpio or Virgo, I'm getting strong Leo and Virgo though. But this person knows, uh, and I could be anywhere in your chart. This person knows that you're starting to realize that you can get better. So you may have started a business, or maybe you started going to the gym and you're starting to see, you know, other guys or or females. If you're a guy that work out or whatever you went to, it could be same sex, right? I gotta say that because sometimes y'all be cussing me out. Um, but maybe they're starting to see like people work out and eat healthy right and your um, significant other refuses to eat healthy and you know go vegan and work on their body and stuff and like you're getting tired of it it's like every time i come in the house you're sitting on the couch eating pretzels and i'm in the gym doing crunches like come on like that's not helping that's not being supportive i want to be i want us both to go to the beach and we both look hot like i don't want you to be all self-conscious because my body is banging and you just letting yours go you get what i'm saying So it's 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 the, it's along the lines of that. You get what I'm saying? It's like so they know it's only a matter of time before you realize that you can get better, and then you go off and you actually get better, or you actually start paying attention to better. They know it's only a matter of time, right? So they're waiting for you to. They feel like any minute now you're gonna be like, listen, I can't do this anymore. Or like if you're just friends, like the friendship is gonna fade off. Or if you're family, like you're probably just gonna move away and never talk to them again. Some of these motherfuckers is being real dramatic, especially if they are Pisces or Aries. They're being yeah, Pisces or Aries. Or Virgo, they're being, but, but big um, Aries and Pisces, they're being very dramatic. Because I don't even think that you're thinking like this. I think that you're just leveling up and you like whoever fall off, fall off. Like you may be not giving them that much attention because you may not have time to give them that much attention. Or I just don't have that much in common no more. You get what I'm saying? Then your next um, car out, but they do, they must admit, even though they feel like you're on your high horse and now you think you're better than everybody, they must admit, they must admit that you are looking beautiful. They, they, they seeing you glow up. They seeing you, they seeing you, yeah, they seeing you glow up. They see you looking beautiful. They see you, you know, uh, creating your, um, your reality for me like you see how she's in the water it kind of looks like for me like she's moving the waters the way she wants them to move like she's creating the lips like she's kind of doing like a magical mystical dance or whatever and making the waters move in her favor so um uh, for a lot of you guys this person probably thinks that you're doing some type of magic or manifestation spell and they see that it's working especially around the full moon or whatever you may do full moon baths or something like that but they might, they think you're a witch, but not in a bad way. Like maybe like a witch or do like some type of spell work, but they see you as being beautiful and see you as being kind. And uh, if you are a witch, a kind one. 
So they can't deny the beauty and the, the glow that you're having and the success that you're having and they the, how clean your aura is getting. Like they can't deny how beautiful everything is, but at the same time, they're not really a fan of it because it, it's, they know that it, it um, can potentially mean that they're left behind. And so I'm gonna grab two out the pink deck and then we're gonna get you some advice. This person wants, want, I'm gonna pick up that card, but this person is basically trying to see, this person is wondering if you're noticing a change in their behavior. Like they feel, this this person is probably someone that's still around you, definitely someone still around you, but, or if they, if they haven't been around you, they probably talk nice to people about you. Like maybe if it's a family member and your mom, and your mom asks them about you or whatever, or it's your mom and somebody asks them about you, she probably like, yeah, such and such is doing good. Back in the back of her mind, she's like low-key jealous, like, yeah, that bitch, she thinks she better than me. Like, you know what I'm saying? At my age, I wasn't making that much money and da 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 and she has a better life than me and da da, -da. You get what I'm saying? It's like, it's like that. You get what I'm saying? It's just like, she might be seeing here, like this is, I'm just not, it don't have to be a mom, it could be anyone. They could be saying nice things to either your face or to other people they know who are close to you and it's going to go back and tell if they do say something bad or, you know, just people in general because they don't want it to get back to you that they talking shit. But in the back of their mind, they're thinking bad thoughts. They're thinking like, I hope they don't make it. I hope their business fails. I hope that they don't get popular. I hope that nobody sees them. I hope they don't ever get in a relationship. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Like they're hoping bad things on you because they don't want you to leave them out of fear. They don't want you to be better than them. They want you to be exactly where you were when they met you and they want you to stay there. They want you to stay in the same stagnant position with them. Somebody laughing. Somebody like, bitch, ain't nobody still with you that hurts somebody laughing. So right now, how they feel about you, they want to keep watching you. They want to keep watching you and see what happens over time. They want to see how far, like, this goes with you. Like, as far as, like, you having a career and you, you know, minding your business and being a bad bitch or whatever you got going on, whether it's running your business and your career, going to school, being in your relationship, working on yourself, eating healthy. They want to see how long it lasts. Because a lot of them feel like they don't know if it's going to last. It's like, this might last, but it might not. Maybe you tried to go through a transformation before, but you allowed the negative energy to tear you down but this time you're going full bloom because maybe you got help from you you prayed to god for help this time or prayed to god for no distractions or whatever you may have prayed to but the thing is that basically they're hoping that um that this is only this is this is something that's not going to last like they're hoping like this is like this this upgrade is doing they're hoping that it's only temporary this could also be a group of people too this could be a, a group of people talking about you as well but they feel like they see you like leaving the group Uh, let me get y'all lovers oracle to see if we got any lovers thinking about you guys. Cause somebody asked about a lover. And then I'm gonna get you your advice. How's power number one's person feeling about them? So if you were asking about a lover, this person is probably gonna try to marry you. They're going to try to marry you, commit to you, or lock you down because they don't want you to leave them. They feel like you have the potential to leave them because you might realize that you can get better that is a, that is better out there, right? So basically, but they're only doing this if this is a love interest because they're scared and they want to try to control you. They don't want you to take. So again, you may be working on something like that's new with this child being here. You may be working on something or giving birth to something. You're going to say whether it's a new you, a new life, a new business, a new career, a new school, whatever. I'm sorry for losing the background, whatever. But they feel like you're, you're birthing something. And because you're birthing something, they think that you're going to be like, okay, I got to go take care of this and I'm going to leave this person because this person is not really helping me birth it anyway or they just you know they don't i don't got time for them no more so because of that they're trying to lock you down with some type of commitment that could be marriage it could be long-term relationship it could be you know a situation it could be like you know trying to get you to hang out more as friends however they're 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 also trying to they're also seeing that you're working on your finances and career or whatever you're manifesting you're working on it eagerly however they're, they think that you're working on it a little bit too hard right they feel like you're working on it a little bit too hard you're a little bit too focused on it but it's more so of a jump 
jealous thing a jealous thing like they're not they're not worried because they much don't want you to overwork yourself they're worried because they don't want you to fuck around and like have a glove overnight and like not fuck with them no more you get what i'm saying like they feel like if you want a million dollars tomorrow like let's say you had a business they feel like if your business made a million dollars tomorrow like you would like literally move away move away get you a big house a nice car new boyfriend new girlfriend whatever and never speak to them again because they're not on your level you get what I'm saying? And, you, and they know, like, if they was to talk to you, you'll probably have, they'll probably have you out in Miami spending all your fucking money on coke and hookers or fucking at, at the Chanel store fucking up a bag. You get what I'm saying? Like, they know that they're not a good influence. They know that they're not intellectually or emotionally on your level. You get what I'm saying? So, and they know that they're not match your vibration, right? They might be a little bit, it might be slip, slightly on the same vibration, but it's really not, Right? So they know they're not uh, technically good for you. So they're gonna try to uh, lock you down, but it's not gonna work. Cause if you got love, it, you got retreat, and then you got love yourself for. At first, you might go for this shit, whether it's a friend or a lover. But then you're just gonna be like, I gotta love myself first, and I wanna keep working on myself. Like I love you to death, and I know that you know you're, you're you know you've been friends for a long time, or we've been in a relationship for a long time. But I have to work on myself, so I have to go. So you're gonna end up just working on yourself. That's a side note. Let's get you some advice. This spread is so beautiful. It's so pretty. Let's get some advice for power one. Gentleness. So be gentle with yourself and be gentle with others. So yeah, as you grow, as you level up, as you make changes to your life, as your manifestations come through, just understand that you're gonna have like you know some people not gonna how to take it. Some people gonna take shit personally, and some people you know are gonna be try to be malicious, and some people are you know gonna their feelings is gonna be hurt, and you know things are gonna happen. But just be gentle with yourself and be gentle with others. Like understand like most motherfuckers aren't jealous of you because they mad at you or something you did. It's something within themselves. So just remember that. Like listen, it's something with phone with you you're insecure you know say i can't help you but if you're insecure you insecure right and you just you know kind of be you know no need to retaliate no need to play petty if you petty back just you know move on with your life and you know let them down easier if you got to ghost them you get what i'm saying but like just know just know like nothing's your fault so don't feel bad and even and also the, mo the more important thing don't feel bad about leveling up your life don't feel bad about having to leave people uh, um behind or having to start a new life somewhere else because that's what we're supposed to do we're here to grow we're here to be the best versions of ourselves right and if somebody else doesn't want to be the best version of yourself there's nothing you can do but yeah that's your reading power number one i hope it resonates if it does please let me know make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time i post a video if you're interested in entering my free reading giveaway all you have to do is leave a green heart in the comment section below and i'll be choosing a winner when we hit uh 2500 subscribers if you're interested in a personal reading, that information will be in the description box below underneath my timestamps. You can order one off my pay hip or my Etsy. With that being said, I'm going to move on to my next pile. Okay, so this one was interesting. I seen this yarn when I was uh, shuffling. Let me put this right here. <sighs> Something about you not being tame. Like, this one's a little fuzzy. It's a lot coming through here. But how your person's feeling about you, they feel like you're you're sinful or you're some type of um guilty pleasure or some type of like sin. Like you probably real sexy. You might be a Scorpio, an Aries, a Pisces, a Sagittarius, or a Leo, Leo and Bold, but or having someone on your chart, some type of, you know, but you're probably really sexy to this person. Like really sexy, right? This is probably definitely a lover or a crush. Uh, if this is a family member, this would be weird. But you know, it could be, you know, uh -huh. but, um, they feel like you're a sin. They feel like something about you is sinful. Like you're, you're, um, indulging in sinful energy, right? They feel like maybe you're out showing your body too much. Maybe you guys recently lost some weight or got like a, a new style you want to show off or just got a newfound confidence and they feel like you're showing this off a lot. They feel like you're like, um, basically a lot more confident being a lot more seen, wanting to be more seen, Right. And this kind of came out of nowhere for them. Like, like maybe you used to be shy or whatever. Hold on. Jeez. 
Maybe you used to be shy or whatever you used to be in um So maybe you guys used to be shy. Maybe you guys used to be shy or um, what was I gonna say? Cause some just fell down. I don't like when that I be reading some shit like that happen. But you know, sometimes when you read people's spirits and stuff coming to your crib, so I gotta get this shit. You know, I don't think it's necessarily bad, but I don't like distractions. But again, this part you might be distract you might be distracting this person. This person, maybe this this is a person that maybe ghosted you or you haven't heard from in a long time. And now like they but they still follow you or you follow them or whatever, or they just been hearing about you a lot. And because they've been hearing about you a lot, it's like they're they're becoming a little bit distracted because at first they wasn't really worried about you like that, right? You know how it is, like you know you people ain't worried about you and then you motherfucking glow up and now everybody want to be worried about you so it's like a situation like that so maybe at first they wasn't worried about you because like who were you were nobody but now you're slowly becoming somebody and now they can see now they can see that you're becoming somebody and they can see that you're um you're leveling up and other people are starting to notice this as well. So because other people are starting to notice this as well, they're starting to notice this, right? So with that being said, yeah, that's better. So with that being said, they feel like you're becoming a little bit too wild. And they were trying to keep you. If this was an ex or something like this, or maybe a so like a, a mother, or you know, or you're asking about somebody. I don't know. It's somebody who wanted to control you, though. This was somebody who wanted to hide you away. This is someone that didn't want nobody to find it about you. Maybe you have a mentor or something like that. You have a certain talent, and you they were not trying to let everybody know about your talent because they wanted to look like they were doing all the work or something. I don't know. That's for somebody. But like for some reason, they didn't want people to see you. Or they didn't, they didn't want people to see you and they didn't think people would see you. They thought that you would, you know, stay in the house or whatever. But it's like, it's like fucking like Rob Kardashian. Like nobody was worried about him forever. And then he just popped out on a scene one day. He outside, like he, he outside. He got a whole baby by Black China. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's like nobody was worried about you for the longest time. And now all of a sudden you're just outside and you're just showing off, right? This person is jealous, but this person feels like they want to charge and they kind of want to fight for you because they feel like they seen you first. So this might, Oh, this could definitely be somebody who ghosted you. Yeah, this can definitely be somebody who ghosted you or somebody who um or somebody who like you dated, but it, something just didn't go right. Whatever happened with you guys, it just didn't it didn't it just did not go right, right? So because it didn't go right, they feel like they didn't really get a fair chance, and then they kind of just stopped worrying about it and start doing their own thing because they wasn't seeing you. You know what I'm saying? And how I keep saying seeing you because you gotta understand like not everyone is going to see you like some people might see you but then others might not really see you like and what i mean by that is like you could be the most beautiful girl in the world right and you could have a beautiful soul and you could be you know pretty and all that you know by whatever standards you know in your area and you could meet a person and they could see oh this person is so pretty but she's a homebody right so and this part the person you meet could be popular right and because that person is popular outside a lot or known right they feel like okay she's a homebody nobody really know about her right so i can stop fucking with her and it won't really hurt me because it's not like i'm gonna see her with one of my niggas it's not like i'm gonna see him with one of my girls or somebody i know because like they a homebody or they a nerd or they not they not a they not they not a somebody. You get what I'm saying? In, a, in quotation, somebody, you know, by this matrix world. So they wasn't worried about it. But now it's like you starting to gain some type of status. They see you gaining some type of status. This cannot even be like, this don't even have to be fame or popularity. This can literally be like one of their friends like fucking follows you on Instagram. Like, oh, she's cute. I'm going to start dating her, right? And they might, are you going on a date with somebody new or something like that? Or they just might have seen you at a few parties and you're starting to be a little bit of a social life. Or maybe you're doing something in the community and seeing it. And it's like people are starting to see you. And 
now it's like they're like, no, like go back in your hole. I don't want nobody to see you, right? And now they feel like, okay, now I gotta fight for this person because I seen this person first, and though it didn't work out, I didn't put in the uh, the correct, um, what's it called? The correct um, courting to get this person, right? Even though I didn't put in the correct courting to get this person, I wasn't. Um, I seen this person first, so technically this person belongs to me. So they're going to come and they're going to try to, they're going to rush in. They're thinking about how they can rush in and fight for their chance because at the end of the day, they seen you first. They still want to be first, right? So this person is definitely stalking you. So that's per this person is probably stalking you on your social media. They're probably stalking you on your social media. If you have YouTube, they're watching that. They probably, when you go out, they probably there. You probably don't even see them there or something like that. They probably asking friends about you, but they're stalking you and they're trying to figure out how to make, how to come at you and how to, you know, hit their target. So whether it be like having sex with you, get you in a relationship, marrying you, just being friends with you, just letting everybody know, hey, I know this person. You get what I'm saying? Being like, you know, just being known or whatever, or getting back in your good graces. They're trying to figure out how they can go about it. But with all these trees in the way, it's kind of like they don't really know how to hit their target, which is you. They don't, they're not really, they're not really oh, so sure. And it's like, they're crazy because they're always usually sure. And I, I heard a reading that said that before earlier. It's like, uh, they were saying how, um, this person's not sure how to, how to come in, but they're trying to come in. This person does feel like you're doing some type of sorcery. For some of you guys, they feel like you're doing some type of sorcery, like some type of spell work, some type of wish. They might have seen a YouTube video or, or Instagram post or something like that. And, or like maybe you have a spiritual Instagram, they think that you're doing some type of spell work, you can use some type of witch. For others of you guys, they feel like you're really just creating something. Maybe you're creating a business, maybe you're creating a real, a better life for yourself or something like that, but you're working on something. Some of you guys might be cooks as well, but they, they're, they're feeling like you're gaining some type of knowledge and that knowledge is giving you power to create something. So maybe you guys are in school now, and like they know you about to graduate, you about to be a nurse or you about to be in marketing or like you're starting a business, you're learning the ins and outs of how to run a business, and then you're, you know, it's like you're, that knowledge, and you're pouring that knowledge you learn into making your business. Maybe you're doing spirituality, and you're learning more spirituality, and you're learning how to manifest and do spell work. Whatever you make doing, like with this cat in the corner, it's like they're watching you do something, and it's like literally magic to them. It doesn't have, it can be literally, literal magic, or they could just, you know, feel like it's magic. How do, how you move it? They feel like it's only a matter of time before you blow up, or, for, or before you reach your goal, right? This person feels like you're a hard worker. They feel like you're always doing something. You're always busy. And it's like, they find it fascinating how you get so much done and how you're able to do so much and how you're so multifaceted. So maybe you guys might uh, go to school, go to work, go to the gym. So you might have a career in school for your, your doctors and then you fucking still find the time to work out and maybe you make candles on the side. It's like, how the fuck did she make candles, go to the gym, go to school, still go to work, still find time to, you know, go to the club with her friends on the weekends, take care of her kids, keep in at all of that and keep her hair and nails done like i don't get it when does she find the time like literally that this person is feeling like that or he's like he's always he travels for work but he still goes to the gym he still takes care of his family he still takes care of himself he always got a haircut you get what i'm saying like how 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 was he doing all this like how do you have the time it's like this person is trying to figure out how you have the time because you're always doing something right but at the end of the day, this person knows that he that they're a clown. <laughs> he or she, probably a he. But, you know, if you're a guy watching this, you know, flip it. But this person knows they're a clown. They're not ready. And they just coming in to play games. And they want to play games. They know they're still in their player energy. But they're hoping that they can still get next to you. And, like, they can still get next to you. Maybe using money. Maybe using their, some tricks, some type of um, manipulation to get next to you. They're hoping that you don't notice. They're hoping that you're just happy that they're... Um, that they're there because maybe you really wanted them in the past but they didn't want you or they didn't like express how they felt so they're hoping they can just come in and like you know do a little party trick and get back in your good graces right but i don't know if that's going to be possible it seems like you're pretty content without them there right because i'm reading this two ways i'm reading it as a way like yeah they want to come in but at the same time it's like i feel like this cat would be content whether this man was here or not you know what I'm saying? Whether this person was here or not. Don't take it literally because it could literally be a female too. But it's like you would literally be content whether this person here or not. Right? You don't really need nothing of them. You got your pillow and you got your apple. 
But that's enough abundance for you. Yeah, but this person is going to try to come in on that BS. Let's pull you like some lover's oracle. If this is a lover, what do you got going on? What is a uh, pile number two person think about them? And then we're going to pull you some advice and then move on to the next pile. is going to come in with some playful energy right so either two things are going to happen they're going to either come in and try to play you and you're going to be like nah motherfucker i see what you're trying to do or and you're not going to want to accept it and that would be them trying to play and like you saying like man get off me or it could be the other way around they could come in thinking they about to play you and you can make them fuck around and make them fall in love and then you know it's like damn they're going to be like damn like damn like <laughs> i came in on some bullshit and now i'm in love like you know what i'm saying and then like by the time they figure out they're in love you might be leaving you might be leaving you know what i'm saying that either that's you it's a, it's a lot of stories remember it's a general reading either they're going to come and try to play and you're going to get tired of it and you're going to leave them they're gonna, then they're going to be on love like damn i'm in love with her now and she left me or you're going to come in and you're going to show them how to love and y'all gonna end up falling in love and it's gonna be okay safe for you guys to love or they're gonna try to play you and then you're not gonna be for that shit you're not gonna be for that shit at all and you're just gonna dip off but either way it's gonna be some passion that comes in between you and this person eventually this could be a text all the way down to you have has, having sex this person is dreaming of this passion right that's why i say this is probably an ex with past life relationship this is probably an ex hopefully it's not a twin flame because i don't wish that on my worst enemy but it's probably somebody you used to date. Or somebody who wanted to date you and they, they maybe didn't get that far. Let's see. Let's get you some advice. So, your yeah, advice is compassion. Soften your heart with respect to the situation and all the people involved, including yourself. So, if you decide to take this person back or something happens between you and this person, it's okay. You don't have to be like, oh, I'm a dumb bitch. Sometimes things don't work out at the time it's meant to work out because it's not meant to, at the time it happens, it's not meant to work out. For others of you, like, if you have to leave this person, don't hesitate. Don't be soft on them. You don't got to be do all that. Listen, motherfucker, I'm out. Right? Listen, motherfucker, I'm out. You know, I don't got no problem with leaving you. Um, And if something does happen, they try to play you. If they come in and still play you, don't feel so bad on yourself. You know, don't close your heart chakra up. Don't close yourself up to love. Continue. Go back to being you. Go back to being this free spirited, you know, uncontrollable energy that they was trying to hide away. And show everyone who you are. Show everyone your light. Don't be scared to, right? But either way, spirit says that you're ready for whatever's about to come. And whatever choice that you make is going to be the right one. So, but just be careful. And pay 